In this video, we're going to talk about the MOST framework that's used in strategy and long-term planning. Besides having a clear understanding of where you are today as a company, you need to also start clearly defining where it is that you're trying to go. There are many resources that you have available to you at a company, but many of them are scarce. Cash is scarce, time is scarce, and so you really need to think about how you're going to align and deploy these scarce resources into achieving a specific mission. Part of the power of missions and strategies is giving a focus so that you can direct your resources toward those goals. And there is an acronym, it's similar to SWAT, four letters, called MOS, and it provides structure to that sometimes daunting process of setting a mission. So it's a framework, it will help make that strategic planning task a little bit easier. M is for mission, O is for objectives, S is for strategies, and T is for tactics. And you can see that missions are more conceptual in their nature, talking about the fundamental idea that's behind the company, and they're longer term. A mission generally doesn't change over the short term. Objectives are very specific goals that we have in achieving that mission. They're supported by strategies that are the playbook or the roadmap that we use to achieve those objectives and eventually the mission. And then tactics would be the things that we do day to day that produce progress along that roadmap of our strategies to achieve the objectives and eventually the mission. So here's a most for a hypothetical company. Let's say that you're running a car company. Uh, we put this into a tree diagram, but using the most approach. At the highest level in this example, we'd say, hey, our mission is to offer the best cars with the best features to a very specific set of customers, discerning customers who are seeking a very complete transportation solution. So that's a pretty broad mission, but it's one that at least starts to communicate what the direction of the company is. But we need more detail to really make this come to life. So maybe some very specific objectives that we have are around growth. To become the premier car manufacturer, again, to discerning customers. Working with dealerships, technology, the most stylish and comfortable cars available. And now if we get quantitative, 200% revenue growth in non-price sensitive segments over four years. That's a very specific goal that again is a way of us keeping track of what we're doing to achieve that mission. Around dealerships, we might say, hey, we want our rating to go up by 10 points in three years. If we think about technology, on a scale of one to 10, maybe we want a styling and interior score of eight in technology out of 10 on all cars within four years. Now, if we start talking about strategies, we can say our lead measures, things we can measure along the way as we make progress to the lag measure that's we either achieve that lag measure or not, 200% revenue growth. Well, we can do that by executing strategies that we can track over time. We we'll call them lead measures along the way. Increase awareness and preference. We can measure that and track that. Launch a new luxury car within two years. That's a step along the way in a two-year period to achieve that goal, the lag measure, of 200% revenue growth in four years. So we're measuring these lead measures along the way as we achieve, hopefully, at the end of the four years, this lag measure. Same thing with dealerships, improve dealership skills, optimize dealer discounts so that those dealerships are motivated to sell our vehicles. We need to invest in technology competencies along the way over the four years, the lag measure on technology of level eight. We want to incorporate them into the vehicles that we produce. So that's just a high level overview of this process in action. To close, as you do a most for your company, remember that the idea is not to produce a perfect plan, but to direct your activities towards specific goals, toward a mission. The process is not an end in and of itself. You're doing it to help align and direct the resources of the organization. So planning is about establishing targets, goals, and guiding the efforts of the company. Okay, that's a quick overview of the most strategic framework process.